Bienvenidos a Stepping Stones, lección 96A. Poder contigo and hippo. In a little bit, I want to tell you about a funny little incident in Sam's warehouse that uh, I listened to uh, about a week ago. We'll come back to this. Poder, to be able, or can. I can do that. Puedo hacer eso. Puedo hacer eso. Tú puedes. Can you? Tú puedes. No, no puedo. No. Claro que puedes. Of course you can. Claro que puedes. Okay, you can do this on a piece of paper or just right here. If you need to pause it, go ahead. Número uno. ¿Puedo hacer eso? What is this in English? ¿Puedo hacer eso? It is. I can do that. I can do that? Yeah, you can. You just don't realize it because you're afraid. If you were courageous, you, you would do it. ¿Puedo hacer eso? Tú puedes. In English, you can. Tres. No, no puedes. No, you can't. No, you can't. Claro que puedo. Claro que puedo. Of course I can. Of course I can. What I'm doing is I'm taking the words that I showed you a little bit earlier and I'm rearranging them. Cinco. ¿Puedes hacer eso? ¿Puedes hacer eso? Can you do that? Seis. Claro que puedo. Of course I can. Siete. Tú puedes, yo no. Tú puedes, yo no. In English, you can, not me. You can, I can't. Ocho. Claro que sí. Claro que sí. It means of course, or we could change it just a little bit. Claro que sí puedes, meaning of course you can. Of course you can. Claro que sí puedes. But if I take, uh, let's see, uh, if I take puedes out, then really all I'm left with is of course. So I just wanted to work with some of this today. Now let's look at conmigo contigo. With me, with you. Conmigo contigo. Hablo contigo. I'm talking with you. Hablas conmigo. You're talking with me. Hablas conmigo. Hablas con ella. Notice now the word con is separate. So in all of the others, when we use the word with, con, we keep it separate. But on these two words, with me and with you, contigo, conmigo, we make it one word. And just get used to it. Contigo means with you. Does tigo mean anything? Uh, not really. <laughs> not really. Does migo? No. No. It's just the way we say it in Espanol. Contigo, conmigo. With you, with me. So all of the others, with her, with us, with him, etc. Con stays all by itself. With. Now, how about this? No puedo hablar contigo. No puedo hablar contigo. What would that mean? See if you can guess it before I say it. La respuesta es, I can't talk with you. No puedo hablar contigo. No puedo hablar contigo. Puedo hablar contigo. What's that one going to be? 
¿Puedo hablar contigo? La respuesta es, I can talk with you. ¿Puedo hablar contigo? ¿Puedo hablar contigo? Now, the hippo story in Sam's warehouse. Last week, I was at a customer service counter. I don't know what I was doing there, but while I was standing there, there was a family that was brown, una familia morena, from, oh, I think they were from Mexico because of the way they spoke. You know, their accent didn't sound like they were from any other country. And uh, while they were at the counter, the uh, mamá, let's see, the mamá was over here, and her hija uh, was a little bit taller than her, so here. And uh, she was probably about, mm, I'm going to say about 14 years old. And here's the lady who was behind the counter, a very nice woman. And she had some kind of a paper that this woman was uh, signing. But this woman kept asking her daughter to explain things. So her daughter spoke very good English. And so did the younger hija. So las dos, las dos hijas spoke very good English. And so this hija would interpret between her mamá and this other señora behind the counter. And she, the, la hija said, so is that like a mortgage? And so this woman thought for just a second and said, um, yes. And so this hija told her mamá that uh, she would be required to make monthly payments on whatever it was she wanted to purchase. That it would be like a mortgage. Well, afterwards, I said, actually, we use the word mortgage for houses, buildings, properties like that, and that uh, what we would call these would be pagos, payments. And this woman over here said, yeah, what is that word? Because I had just spoken in Spanish, and yet this woman over here behind the counter understood me. She said, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think, what is the word for mortgage, though? What is it? And I thought about it, too. I said, yeah, what is the word? And none of us could think of what the word for mortgage was. Now, these other, this family, esta familia morena, they were all very kind people, too. And so together we tried to think of what the word was. Well, finally, that family left. And then whatever it was that I was trying to do, I uh, was left there talking to this other woman over here and she says you know I am ashamed because your Spanish is so much better than me, mine and I, I said well, that's ridiculous why, why are you worried about worried about that she said well I am married to a, a Hispanic and I've been married to him for 14 years she says I keep thinking that word must be something that I know. I'm, I'm sure I know what it is. I just can't think of what it is. And I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight until I figure out what it is. She said, I, I was thinking it was um, hippo. Hippo. I took, I took my phone out, my uh, smartphone, and I looked it up. And she says, yeah, that's the way to do it. And it said a word that I knew. All of us there knew what the word was. Hipoteca. Hipoteca. So I said, hipoteca. And this senora said, oh, yes, hipoteca. I knew, I knew the word. I just couldn't remember. She said, I, 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 I thought, you know, maybe hippo. And I said, oh, you mean um, hippo. Hippo. Hippo means hiccup. And what we say in Spanish, when we want to say somebody's got the hiccups, we say, well, like I've got the hiccups. Tengo hipo. I've got the hiccups. So you can use that too. Tengo hipo. And she said, yeah, yeah, hipo. I kept thinking hippo. And so that was the story of the hippo in Sam's warehouse. Remember, we don't pronounce the H. It's not hippo. It's hipo. But should you ever come across a hippo that's got the hiccups, then you can always say, Tiene hippo.